Well, that was Mark and Sue's success recipe, wasn't it? Yeah, coming to us in the in the in their early fifties, and because they had equity in their home and they had double income with with kids that as you know uh, weren't all dependent, um, and they followed the plan where it was now they bought two to start with, and then one every year for the next three years. In four years, they had these five properties, and fast forward to year ten, um, it's created amazing uh, an amazing outcome for them that uh, that they just wouldn't have got through through super raw shares. So um, I guess if we think about um, the alternative, right, because there'll be people out there that are thinking property investment, risky, you know, I haven't done it before, it's scary, um, all of those things which are uh, which are uh, are valid um, emotions to feel. Uh, It's very easy to overcome those, I guess, like it is with anything, having a coach and people that can support you. But um, I've often talked to people about being aware of the alternative and that that's far more scary. So, you know, what, what does that look like? What, what are the, the kind of factors that, that um, you know, people need to consider and what does the retirement look like if they don't have a solid retirement plan that factors in, you know, inflation and they are relying on the pension? Well, as I said um, earlier, the, as people approach retirement, um, the, there is a propensity to take greater and greater risk if somebody not comfortable with what they've got and, kind of a staring down the barrel of a less than comfortable uh, retirement um, and decisions that are forced upon people as well to um, live perhaps in places that are much worse than where they've lived perhaps previously. Um, and it's really taking significant steps backwards in terms of lifestyle uh, at a time when you should really be enjoying your life and you know, getting the benefit of the hard work. Um, that you've put in over the years. Now, obviously, the big difference between somebody who's got a comfortable retirement and somebody who who doesn't often comes down to the decisions that were made along the way, not necessarily how hard they worked, but the decisions they they made um, and the investments that they they made along the way, whether that was to start investing early or start educating themselves about investing and then be in a position to, to invest. Um, so I think, look, I... I'm actually, um, um, to use a, a personal story, and uh, I had somebody house sitting my house recently who is retired and friend of um, friend of a family member. Um, he doesn't have anywhere else to, to live, so he's kind of been house sitting uh, in his sixties, house sitting for friends and friends of friends, uh, and otherwise living with his his kids um, and a great income along the way. Um, just different decisions that were made um, led to him not being in a position to, um, I guess, fund his own retirement at the end. And um, Yeah, I think uh, it's, yeah, it's something that I, I, if people sometimes put off thinking about their retirement because it is scary and you don't want to think about something that, that stresses you out or worries you. Um, but again, I just say it doesn't take that much thought to take the right step, to put one step forward towards getting a little bit of education and there's businesses that can obviously help. Um, so one step forward to speak to somebody who knows what they're doing, who can help you take those steps uh, beyond that first step so that you can really um, look forward to a more comfortable retirement. You don't have to stop like avoiding the thought of it and even start looking forward to it and, and enjoying it. It's really about thriving, not surviving. Right? Yeah. And, um, I, I think about the two main um, income sources that people talk about in retirement of the pension and super. Mm. And, uh, you know, the, the pension, um, just even thinking about it kind of makes you want to put yourself in denial and go, I can't handle that because... At the last check, you know, a comfortable um, pension for a single was in a vicinity of thirty five k a year for a couple at sixty thousand. Um, I'd hate to think what life looked like when you're supposed to be thriving and traveling and yeah. rewarding yourself for you know the first kind of fifty or sixty years of your life that you've worked really hard to uh, to then have to diminish your lifestyle so significantly because the available cash flow is just so much less than than what you used to. Um, that's a good enough motivator to, you know, to uh, to be doing something else and and investing in my view. Um, 
and and with super, you know, you'd see all those uh, uh, those industry super ads, and especially the ones with the people on the lift versus someone else. And I, I could never, I could never understand like the the best case scenario that was all about mm. was someone that had around two hundred and fifty thousand in their super come retirement age. 